Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you why columns are not appearing while creating a new measure. So if you are a beginner you may be trying to create a new measure like you are creating in spreadsheet or somewhere else but you may be wondering that why Power BI is not populating the column name as part of the formula creation. Well if this is what you are struggling with then let me show you how first of all why it is not appearing and second thing is how you can make it work so uh, with that we'll see an example and see a solution of that as well okay and before that the sheet which you are seeing right now is a google sheet a live google sheet where uh, for which the link is present and that's where i'm keeping all of my power bi related videos so that you can come easily search any of my video filter it whatever you want and jump onto that video using the link present in column p also exercises related videos are present over here related to the workout Wednesday site similar to these people who are coming in and uh, utilizing this file you can come in and uh, you can bookmark this file for your power bi tutorial related needs so that it is handy to you okay with that information let me go to the power bi all right so here i am into the power bi and the data which i am having is related to one of the dashboard that i recently prepared is the AIMS dashboard. I published it, uh, I think, uh, uh, a day or two before. And uh, this is something which you can see how you can create uh, step by step from scratch. But I have taken the example from here. So what you have is this, these different medical institutes at different location of India. You have the announced year, you have the established year, and then time to complete is basically a simply subtraction of 2014 from 2019 and this is the formula what i showed over here in this dashboard as well right time to complete so how first of all if we try to create this measure let's say we are over here and i click on the new measure and i, and I say time to complete right so i would expect that hey what i can do is i can take the time to complete over here established year right so as soon as i writing established so generally what happens is whenever you start writing it basically gives you the name of the column but in this case it's grayed out it is not showing you the column and that usually if you if this is the problem that you are facing then i'm here to basically show you the solution so the whole idea is that it is not showing because measure over here the new measure or the dax measure is expecting you to give the value of an x uh, to specify the aggregation function so for example if i say sum then you see all of the names are coming right sum uh, established here minus sum of uh, announced here right so if i click ok now Time to complete is already used. All right, let's change this to aims time to complete, right? Since I already created this. So now this formula is now created here. We can select this table, right? And uh, we can bring it over here. So if I show you this, uh, aims time to complete, expand this. The only problem you can see is this is clean, but you have minus 2015 over here right so this is something which is uh, another interesting problem uh, which i will show you how you can um, how you can basically solve it or let me just show you basically right over here so we are over here um, some time to complete and um, in this data table what i have created is this time to complete right so this time to complete is if is blank aims time to complete established year that means if the established year is is blank anywhere then just keep it zero right so if aims uh, established year is blank then zero otherwise simply the formula what we need to write is established year minus announced year so that is something what you need to take care of while creating this new function uh, when when we are doing this so over here if you see the aims right so aims if i write this again if i just 
remove everything, if I try to create a measure, you will see that in the if condition, if I again take the value, if uh, the established here, if is blank, uh, established here, again, the value is not coming, right? Because if you see, it is expecting a value. However, in measure, you need to provide the aggregation function, right? So since the aggregation function is not present, what we have is the values. So the values is uh, for what it helps us is basically take up this established here. But you will see that a small unexpected parameter is coming, what it is expecting. And we will need to close this. So is blank is closed. Now uh, we need to specify the sum of um, what do you have is the established here minus sum of the announced here right close this close this but before between sum we need to specify zero as well that if it is zero then do this so click ok uh, so we have this aims times to complete aims time to complete if i bring it over here aims time to complete uh, what it basically creates is another problem the reason for this is uh, technically when you are creating the this type of a if condition with the values what it expect is the each value and not the aggregation so generally what i do what usually is the best practice is whenever we have to create the value for each of the each of the cell value or each of the rows the best way is you create the for uh, the formula over here rather than creating a measure which is an aggregation but i wanted to let as to how you can when you are specifying the if condition and uh, you are trying to evaluate the blank values again which is for every row not not uh, useful over here but in the table or in the data model as to what function you can use and specify this so for now we will just remove this uh, delete from model and continue using the uh, first one which is or the earlier one which we created in the back end so this is a function that you can use however um, you know these are some of the things i wanted to let you know as to why these are not coming the the field value and all because it expects an aggregation function and all uh, when we are creating values so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic